Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are already disagreeing on their new royal baby's future, Radar Online reports. According to the U.S. publication, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are bickering over who will take care of their royal taunt. Harry wants to honor tradition and have a royal nanny opens a new window. Like he had when he was a child, a source tells the site. His mother, Princess Diana, was very hands-on, but Harry and his brother were in reality raised by the royal nanny and he wants this for his child too. But, according to Radar Meghan isn't having it. Yes, she will have professional help, but she wants her mother to help raise the baby, not someone that the family appoints, the source further claimed. The Duchess of Sussex wants to have her mother, Doria Ragland, move from California to London and help with the upbringing. She's going to find a flat, the source said. She's not moving into the palace, but they will find a place for mommy, and mommy's going to help out. Doria sent fans wild last month after she was spotted taking baby care classes. The 62-year-old former social worker and yoga instructor is reportedly taking classes as the cradle company in Pasadena, Los Angeles, the Daily Star reported. The Duchess of Sussex's mother has been learning vital skills, such as first aid from specialist coaches in L.A. Meghan wants to avoid hiring staff if possible once her first child arrives. The thought of having her mum move in with them and take on the role of baby nurse is the best possible solution to that. Even more so because it's something Doria has always wanted to do anyway. A source added to the paper, she's learned everything from breastfeeding and lactation consultancy, basic baby care, CPR and first aid. The course also covers sleep training for later on, weaning and helping the new mother with her recovery. Unlike his wife, whose pitch-perfect smile has become even broader since the pregnancy was announced, poor Harry appears to be in danger of evaporating in a welter of growing anxiety. He seems to have inherited the trait of an open book face from his mother Diana and his expressions here suggest a man who is happily worrying for two right now. While Meghan sits confidently and elegantly, Wearing an open-mouthed smile of genuine delight at the proceedings as she raises one hand to make a feature of her wedding ring and drop earrings, Harry sits with his torso bunched up in a self-diminishing gesture that suggests subliminal fear or worry, staring away in a much more reflective mode and with a very weak smile revealing what looks like clenched teeth. His legs play signals new dad machismo and pride but the hard-shaped hand clasp looks nervous until Megan places her hand in his and rubs his arm in a gesture of reassurance. His face watching signals increased when they were out in the crowd and he sucked in his lips as he looked at his wife in another gesture of possible anxiety. It's easy to guess why Megan's pregnancy might have resulted in these signals of high anxiety. With no mother to confide his worries in and a sister-in-law who has been incapacitated by sickness during her first months of pregnancy, despite the fact that Meghan looks glowing with health and confidence, it's likely that Harry is currently asking her if she's really really okay? Several times a day. You can actually see that question hanging in the air above his non-verbal displays. A few months ago his intense eye gaze rituals with Meghan would have looked flirty and soppily in love but here he has added a telling head tilt plus a more serious eye expression to turn a loving gaze into a genuine query. He was probably also under pressure here in more professional terms. The opening ceremony of the games had just been delayed by a storm and he had a big speech to deliver in front of the eyes of the world. Kensington Palace has confirmed the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. The announcement comes after months of speculation around the newlyweds, and following the Duchess' glowing appearance at Princess Eugenie's wedding. When will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have their first baby? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. While a due date has not been confirmed yet. Speculation has it around late March or early April. It is rumored that the couple informed the royal family of Meghan's pregnancy at the wedding of Princess Eugenie. Before the royal wedding in May 2018, 
Meghan's father Thomas Markle broke traditional royal protocol to speak out and say that a child will be coming soon. Around the same time, Ladbrokes made it a 4-6 chance that the newlyweds make an announcement in 2018 they are expecting their first child. When did Harry and Meghan get married? The couple tied the knot on May 19, 2018, after a smitten Harry popped the question in London last year. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and was attended by A-list stars and watched around the world. Prince William was best man, and here is the full list of bridesmaids and page boys. The world has been awaiting the announcement of a Sussex baby eagerly. How did Harry and Meghan meet? Prince Harry and Meghan first met after being introduced by mutual pals but only announced they were together in November 2016. They were then spotted hand-in-hand hand for the first time while out on a date in London. At the time, pals said actress Meghan had virtually moved into Harry's cottage at Kensington Palace with the couple having been inseparable for weeks. On May 6, 2017, Meghan made her first public appearance as a royal girlfriend when she proudly watched Prince Harry playing polo in Berkshire. Then in September, the pair were pictured together in Toronto as they attended the Invictus Games with Meghan's mum Doria. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton have their first child? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, a year and eight months after they were married at Westminster Abbey. The announcement had come earlier than is traditional as Catherine was admitted to hospital with hyperemesis gravidarum. Prince George was born on July 22, 2013. Their second child Princess Charlotte was born on May 2, 2015. Their youngest aunt, Prince Louis, was born on St. George's Day, April 23. Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, but how exactly will she will spending her maternity leave and spare time? Kensington Palace confirmed Meghan and Harry will welcome their first baby next year who will be seventh in line to the throne. The palace said, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan is expecting to give birth in the spring of 2019 and she has reportedly had her 12-week scan, and many royal correspondents are speculating that she will give birth in April or May next year. The gender of the baby has not been confirmed and Meghan and Harry are likely to follow in William and Kate's footsteps by not revealing the gender until after the child is born. The couple are on their first official foreign tour together in Australia, which is where they broke the news of the pregnancy. When asked by a group of schoolchildren what they would name their firstborn on board a tram in Melbourne during their trip, the Duchess said, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we're going to sit down and have a look at them. Ella Burns a 12-year-old pupil from Albert Park Primary School said, she said that she hasn't thought of one as it was still quite early. Meghan will be taking time off after the birth of her first child, just as Kate has done when she gave birth to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge returned to work on October 2 after a six-month break from official engagements. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham told Bazaar.com. It is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. Meghan revealed to be like most of us when she revealed what she likes to do in her spare time. The Duchess told 12-year-old Ella she didn't have much spare time but when she does she enjoys relaxing and watching TV shows. But she did not disclose which was her favorite, there's heaps, I can't think of a specific one. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend much time relaxing during her maternity leave this time as she spent a lot of time doting on her two other children, Prince George, 5 and Princess Charlotte, 3. Kate carried on with her motherly duties, picking up and dropping George at Thomas's Battersea. And dropping off her daughter Charlotte to Wilcox Nursery School, which is one mile away from home. The Duchess tries to keep a low profile during her maternity leave 
but some images from her pregnancy of Princess Charlotte showed her dropping George to Buckingham Palace for his swimming lessons. Despite Kate being on maternity leave earlier this year she was spotted in public on numerous occasions. Namely at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Louis christening and trooping the colour.